Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 25 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And we're gonna go back to Snowy Fields, because I did absolutely horribly at that. And you know what I started to realize? I realized that now that I've limited myself to 13 minute videos, I'm actually gonna have to start doing a little bit of practice to kinda get good at these games in order to maybe actually not suck and have to redo every level at the start of the episode. So, I actually did practice a little bit off screen, and I think I have the skill now to actually be able to do this efficiently and to get all the other treasures. So, hopefully, I won't suck as much as I did before. Alright. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this level is so much fun, though. So, it is good, it is good to be doing it. Really, all of the levels in this uh, snow world are fun. Uh, I practiced one off screen, like a different one than this. And that one was actually kind of hard, so I'm kind of dreading that one, but I don't think we have to do that one for a while anyways, so no big deal. Plus, you gotta love the awesome music, right? Oh no, I forgot to turn off my phone. You just haven't done that in a while. In like a few months, I, I haven't forgotten to turn off my phone. There's no beads down here. What am I thinking? <clears throat> oh, I think I'm developing a bit of a cold. Can't really tell, though. At least I can't really tell. I'm sure you can if I am. Alright, get out of my way, dude! <laughs> Crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so today is November 5th, I think. And I just got off of an awesome, awesome night. You know why? It's because I had a 12-hour sleep, and I am so refreshed. Because for the past few nights, like for the past three or four nights, I've literally gotten about either z from z anywhere between zero and four hours of sleep in the night. I'm not even kidding, I just had so much homework to do with this, there's like this big English assignment that we're supposed to do throughout the whole semester, it's called a portfolio, and I say, I like, waited until the very last week possible to do it, for like a midterm grading or whatever, so I had a, quite a few sleepless nights, but I did get it done, thankfully, and now I have very little homework this weekend, so, yay on that. Alright, yes, I was afraid I wasn't going to make it there for a second. You don't really need to get, like, all of the bees. You don't need to be super meticulous in this level with the bee collection, but you need to get a decent amount. I tend to get most of them just because I'm totally OCD. Oh. Oh, yeah, but that 12-hour sleep, like, I don't know. Because after a long sleep like that, I generally feel like I've wasted part of the day. But I actually went to bed really early, like, at 8 o'clock. So I woke up at 8 o'clock, so I didn't even feel like I wasted that much of today. And I wasn't really going to do anything else last night, so... No big thing. <clears throat> Plus, I had some awesome dreamage going on. I love dreams. They're so cool. I am one of those people that kind of believes that dreams do symbolize something in your real life and something that you have to do or are dreading doing or whatever. <clears throat> Which is kind of why I'm, like, uh, feeling a little bittersweet about my dreams. Like, the dream was awesome, but it just re made me realize how much... How much I like, dread doing that, or... Oh, God. Mm. Basically, the dream was about Sydney, okay? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And it wasn't, it wasn't, like, anything, like... <laughs> no, it wasn't like I had a wet dream or anything. No, nothing like that. It's just... Oh, God. I don't think I can get up there. Well, I probably could if I tried hard enough. But, I don't feel like trying right now. I, I can get up here, though. I remember I missed getting up there last time, so... Alright, there we go. Ooh, look, we're already at a gold medal. Jeez, and I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't anywhere close to getting a gold medal last time, and now I'm here, like, halfway through the level. This is crazy. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed any of the treasures yet. Can I get on top of this? No, I don't think so. I don't even think there would be anything worth getting if I did get on top of that, so... Mm, la di da <laughs> I love how you get to, like, walk on top of those giant snowballs, and the snowballs just keep getting bigger and bigger the further you go on the level. It's so cool. Nice exponential increase there. You know, the function of snowballs is increasing on the interval. Oh, God. Don't even get me started on that. Alright, I was so stupid about this. You go ahead in here, and all you have to do is jump up. There's platforms in here. That's how you get on top of this. <laughs> you don't have to try and, like, perfectly time your jump onto the snowball. And here's one of the treasures I missed, which is... A penguin mirror! See yourself in this mirror that's shaped like an igloo that's shaped like a penguin. Whoa. It's like penguin inception or something. Holy crap, am I seriously almost up to like 3,000 beads in 5 minutes? Oh, 5 minutes. 
<laughs> that's almost half of my video. That's crazy to think now. Huh. Oh, crap. Well, I guess it's good I showed that, because that's kind of funny when you get frozen like that. You know what's absolutely hilarious, though? Is in Super Mario Galaxy 2, when one of those little uh, snow things, like the little snow rocks that chase you around, if they freeze you, and you die, and it's, it's the most hilarious thing, because Mario just stays frozen, and he doesn't even like break out of it and die. He just stays frozen, and he goes like, Oh! <laughs> so funny. Alright, here's the last patch. I think it's the last patch anyways. Certainly feels like it because that red color is so vibrant you would think it would be the last and most worthwhile one to get. And it is. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Wow, that's a lot of beads that I just lost. Well, I had a lot of beads in the first place. Wait, dude, don't miss all those stars. Oh, crap. I got most of them, if not all of them, so we're good. All right, yeah, you head in here, and there's there's more platforms in here, too. I'm so dumb. But don't hop out right away. You actually have to use this to hop on top of the snowball, because there's no platform outside of this. So that's really awesome. You, especially since you can get on top of this biggest snowball. That's really great. And we got our music here, right? Snowy Feels music. Awesome. And that's the end of the level, too. Yay. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? That wasn't so bad. I have to go back and do a hide and seek stage too, don't I? I think I remember that. Oh boy. Mm, you know what the snow world reminds me though? Is that winter is coming, and I don't really like winter. I mean, I like Christmas and all that, but... Oh, winter itself can be kind of annoying, especially in Canada. When you lived here for almost 17 years, then you'd kind of get used to it, I guess. Alright, uh, before we head to the hide and seek, let's take on this one, because this is one of my favorite levels. To me, whenever I think about this, uh, like, you know how sometimes when you think about a game, you think about a certain area in that game, or like a certain level? This is that level for me, because this is the part of the game where I first realized, like, wow, this game is so awesome, and so just... It's so, like, chicken soup for the soul kind of warming. It's great. Mm, I love it. Oh yeah, but this snow this whole snow world it reminds it just reminds me of winter and it's actually getting pretty cold out right now. It's not actually too cold, um I mean it's not too snowy right now. It hasn't snowed too much. A little bit, yeah, but uh nothing like notable. Right, we we know too well that we can kill those guys that way now. That's much better. Oh god, after that whole fail thing. Was that in episode twelve? I know I think it was episode thirteen. <laughs> Ironically enough. Alright, yeah, you gotta go move fast here, because this whole, like, that whole top blue thing is gonna start coming down on you. And if you touch that, if you so much as just touch that thing, you are dead. Like, it will kill you and, br and bring you to the spot you're supposed to be at. It's so weird. Alright, but here's our first treasure. It's a fireplace. Keep this fireplace fed with logs and you'll be happy for the holidays. Oh, yeah. Gotta start getting ready for them holidays. Mm, I know I am. It's gonna be one hectic holiday, that's for sure, but... You know, like, hectic Hector, but... It's certainly gonna be one of the more fun ones. Man, I love these giant Christmas trees, too. Well, not giant Christmas trees, because it's just an evergreen, but now it's a Christmas tree, because it's all decorated. Gotta collect these fast, though, because I'm pretty sure they dis disappear if you take too long. Oh, so do any of you guys have any awesome plans for Christmas? I know I do, and some of them involve you. That's right, I'm planning something totally epic for Christmas. Won't announce that until around, like, early December, though, so... Keep your eyes peeled for that when that happens. And anyone who's involved in that, because there are quite a few people involved in it, please try to keep it as secret as possible, because I would just like to... <laughs> I think that would be awesome if we just kept it secret until the very end. I haven't seen it spoiled yet by anyone that I'm involved, which is crazy since there's, like, 15 or 16 people involved. But... Oh, uh, whatever, you know. Right. Okay, you gotta use... No, crap. You're supposed to use his spear, which I didn't do correctly. Alright, can I hurry up and uh, see if I can do this? Because there is a treasure over there, I think, or something. Something noteworthy. Oh, there's just beads over there. That's no big deal. I'm already at gold, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just a sunflower, but see me powered entire infantry. You like the taste of brains, we don't like zombies. 
I don't know what reminded me of that song. No, no, no! Oh, crap! Okay, I died, but I got the treasure. Oh, this chimney is stuffed with toys. Get get a plunger ready to save this hall and save this holiday. Oh, God. <laughs> I love it. There should still be enough beads for me to get back up to gold. Yeah, but that's that's what I mean if you touch the screen. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter if it crushes you against anything. You just gotta touch that top blue thing. And you're dead. And <laughs> when we head inside a mitten here, how lovely. I think this is actually a bit of a... Yeah. There's a whole gimmick here where you gotta kinda use your parachute ability to keep keep loft, I guess. Keep sky loft, you know, like skyward sword. Which is coming out very soon. I'm not gonna get that right away. And I'm trying I'm gonna try to avoid as many spoilers as possible. So if you do an LP of it and I'm subscribed to you, I probably won't be watching that LP, sorry to say. But um It's certainly gonna be I'm probably gonna get it for Christmas if I'm if I know my family right, they always get me games for Christmas. So that's cool. Alright, uh, did I get any of the patches? Well, we're not at the end of the level yet, yeah. There's still one whole big house to go through, and I just reached gold. How great. And we got this little evergreen, and we got this huge evergreen. You know, like, zoo! Oh, what time are we up to? 11 minutes? Well, we should have enough time to just finish this level, and I guess we'll do that hide and seek stick. Hide and Zeke thing next time. All right, ooh, this one's a little bit different though, because now this blue thing is still gonna be chasing you, but you gotta head up in the level. So be careful there, and be careful of those spikes too, because if you hit them, I'm sure it'll be pretty bad. Unless you had the Karibo shoe, which doesn't exist in this game. So, huh? <laughs> nice star. There's whole, there's all these stars around in the level, you know. Gotta remind you to put a star at the top of your Christmas tree. Of course, we put an angel at the top of our Christmas tree. So I don't know. Of course, that's more of a Christian thing, and I'm not really Christian, so I shouldn't do that. I've had people ask. I've had actually quite a few people ask me about like what beliefs I have, and that's kind of a touchy subject. But I feel like, um, based on what I've read about it, the religion, the religion that that's most uh, in line with my beliefs is probably deism. So there you go. If you want, if I want, if you ever want to know, but please don't let that break out into like some kind of big religious debacle in the comments. Because I know I've seen those happen before, and it is not a pleasant thing. Right, man, you got to be kind of tricky with that one, but you get the music for it. So cool. All right, oh, we got to hurry here. We got to hurry. I don't want to have to speed up like a few seconds in the video. That'd be crazy. Oh, I probably am though. All right, what? No, don't miss it. Jeez, man. Alright, well, I think that's going to have to be it for this video. I'm going to end it off really quick here. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.